hey guys and welcome back to the relationship whisperer on this channel we talk about everything relationship love couples dating couple lifestyle heartbreak how to avoid it and god forbid it comes to you how to deal with it please if you've not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a new video like this video share this video with your friends and family and leave a comment in the comment section so i can know your thoughts and you can also leave video requests in the comment section so you guys today's video is a very very important one you guys are going to need this because some of you are very very still very sour okay on this topic that i'm about to share with you guys so please watch and watch attentively to learn okay so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys i'll be telling the guys as usual because i only talk to the men on this channel <laughs> I'll be telling the men five ways to spice things up in the bedroom, in the other room. So if you're interested in this kind of content, please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. So the first tip is a lot of you men will say things like, oh, I don't care, two minutes, one hour, whatever. If you're this kind of man that says that you don't care the amount of time you spend, it means that you're a selfish man, okay? Because you need to care because you need to, it's not just about you, it's about you and your partner, it's about you and this other person. So if you're the only person getting the pleasure, you're the only person that is enjoying it then you are a very selfish person so this is the first tip you need to fix whatever issues that you are having if you have anything be it premature um what do they call that thing what do they call that thing premature ejac guys be it premature ejaculation be it whatever dysfunction you need to fix it okay don't just stay there and say eh, i don't care even if it's two minutes even if it's one minute as long as i get that one is you are a selfish person and if you're going to watch this video because you want to spice things up in the other room you need to fix that issue you need to fix that issue stop priding yourself in your two minutesness it's not good it's not cute it doesn't say well of you so improve okay fix it if it's a medical condition go to the hospital and get medications if you don't feel like going to the hospital go to these people that sell a bow and buy a bow if you if it's exercise start exercising be more active work out take walks jog go to the gym whatever you want to do just do it and fix whatever dysfunction or premature anything that you are experiencing so the second tip is open your mind okay don't be too rigid don't be too tight anything they give they say try this one you will say no try this one you will say no free yourself you are not you are not a grandpa okay even if even if you're a grandpa even if you're a grandpa you can still free yourself and enjoy your life if they say let's try this one look at this one this is the one that is really you will say no lay on your back raise the legs that's all you want to do i can't teach you anything that's the only thing you want to do if that's the only thing that you are willing to learn because there's no spice you want to spice in that place you need to open your mind when they are giving you new ideas they are giving you new things that is raining now open your mind and your ears and learn stop holding you so much to your chest okay be willing to explore new things that's what i'm saying be willing to explore new things be willing to learn new things be willing to enjoy new things don't be too rigid leave your chief tenancy in your village leave your chief tenancy there when you enter the room you are a regular person okay third please please i'm begging you people use toys okay Use toys. Which one is eh? If I use this one, oh, she's not going to like the real thing again. Do you know what the real thing is? No toy can ever replace a whole human being. If you are if you are threatened by a toy, ah, um, we need to. In fact, we need to do confidence class for you. You need to learn because how can that be threatening you? You sound like all these people that are scared of AI, that are scared of robots, that robots will one day take over the world. Who is making the robots? Is it not human beings? Who are making these toys? Is it not human beings? These things can never ever take the place of real human beings. Okay? They are just an enhancer. It's just something to help. It's just something to boost. Because the energy or the speed that these things use, as a human being, you cannot use that speed. But they cannot give you the emotions that human beings can give. Do you understand? So if you are scared that a toy is going to take your place or it's going to carry her away or it's going to take her mind away from you, you, you need you need you need to see a therapist, you need a psychologist to check on you to boost your confidence because either a psychologist or maybe God is your final resort to boost that confidence. Last on our list for today, but not the least, is you need to express yourself. Do you understand? Express your fetishes, talk dirty, do see talking dirty takes this thing from 
let's say if you if you guys are on a five talking that it takes it to like an eight eight point five free your mind you are there like no sound no nothing i'm not saying anything the things you want to say is choking you here but because you're a traditional man you're a chief and you have already claimed to be a chief you don't want to open your mouth and talk you don't want to say what is inside your head it will choke you it's choke you and that's why you'll be coming in two minutes because everything is choking you here you're not you're not expressing yourself free your mind talk dirty share your fetishes tell your part tell her what you like okay guys should explore this life is only one. It's only one that you are going to live. You don't have any more. So exploit while you are here. Don't let the notion that this thing is a sin or is so bad. You know people have made it so bad and the, the stereotype around it is so bad that people are scared of enjoying it. But please, open your mind, free your mind and enjoy it. It's not a bad thing. It's a God-made thing. It's not man-made. It's God that made it. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video thank you i know i've not been so consistent this past few I, I think it's just this week anyway i've not been consistent and there's a reason for that because previously i used to work shifts like i used to work today i'll be off the next day but now i work every single day so by the time i get back i'm knackered i'm tired i cannot even think about it but i said today i'm going to make this video and i'm going to post this video for you guys so please you should like the video subscribe to my channel oh, leave a comment in the comment section share this video with your friends and family and hit the notification bell so every time i post a new video you'll be notified thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye